Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a reaction video by a young lady from the Philippines called Morissette Ammon, an amazing singer. And I'm going to be doing a reaction to her cover of Rise Up. This was a very popular video on YouTube. She's a very popular singer. And I'm going to look into why. I've had this song recommended to me a lot in the comments to do a reaction to it. So let's get into it and let's see what's the big deal about Morissette Ammon. All right, here we go. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. And you can find a fighter, but I see it in you, so we go work it out. Seven, five. We can walk it out. Move mountain. So, so far, incredible control that she's got. Uh, she's singing more in a head voice, not really falsetto. I mean, this is more of a head voice that she's in, but she has such like clear delineation of every note. And she's also able to play with the timing a little bit. She's able to go behind the beat a little bit with this and play with things in order to not make it feel robotic. Um, beautiful tone, beautiful control. Let's keep going. I'll rise up, I'll rise up and say in the So what she's doing should not work. She should not be able to do what she's doing, but she's doing it. And I'll tell you how she's doing it. So for most of my students, for most beginner to intermediate students, I would not suggest for them to sing the lyrics, rise up, like rise up with that big smile that she's got happening there. It would make the vowel too wide and it could get her trapped into too much chest voice, too much of her lower voice, so that she ends up shouting things, where she ends up not being able to get enough mix, enough blend of her head voice into it, where it would end up being more rise up instead of rise up. She's actually able to still get into her mixed voice on that wider vowel. Now, why is that? That's because and you can really hear it clearly when she gets to the I'll rise up, closer to the end of that phrase, the I'll rise up, that part. She goes, I'll rise up. She doesn't go up. So even though her mouth is spread a bit, she's saying uh, U-H. Her mouth looks like she's saying A-H, ah, up. But if you listen to it, she's singing U-H up up that keeps the larynx down and that allows her to still get more head voice enough head voice put it that way to get into a chesty mix in this area it's really incredible control that she has over this she's really bending the rules in a wonderful way <laughs> let's keep going and i'll do it a thousand times again She can come right down to something really, really soft, really gentle, just lots of sensitivity there. She's able to be gentle and then go from that straight into that big chesty mix straight away, back and forth. I know you feel like dying, and I promise we'll take the world to its feet. Move. Oh. 
We can walk it out. Move mountains. And I'll rise up. I'll rise like the day. And I'll rise up. I'll rise out of rain. I'll rise up. And I'll do it a thousand times again. She's not dropping her jaw a lot there. And so as a result, she gets that really, really pure, not really ringing, but there's a bit of a cut to that head voice that she's in. But notice the difference between that kind of heady mix versus the chesty mix that she's getting when she goes, rise up! When she's singing that section of the chorus, there's a lot more chest dominance in it. And when she closes down to that close vowel, the ooh, and she doesn't drop her jaw, she gets a very heady, more piercing kind of a tone there. Incredible. All we need is hope. And through that we have each other. And for that we have each other. really chesty, but she's not pulling up chest. How do we know that? Because her larynx isn't rising as she's doing this. And two, she's getting a really fast vibrato there. If she was pulling up chest and just straight out yelling, the vocal folds would squeeze together in what's called pressed phonation, and the vibrato would probably slow down or even completely go away. So she's still able to keep some balance in her voice doing something that's very, very challenging. that vowel a little bit at the top in, a, in order to get into the upper register of her voice. It's not pure head voice up there, of course. It's a really, really chest dominant mix, but she does make it in by allowing the vowel to narrow and modify there a little bit. to do that. Oh my gosh. She's amazing. Wish Cruise on Wish 107.5. Man, man, she's impressed me today. <laughs> like I said, she's doing things that should not be possible, but she's working it out. She's solved how to go up in such a chesty manner through those vowel modifications she's doing. Her larynx isn't coming up. She's keeping the vibrato on there. She is, she's able to keep some uh, airflow happening there. So as a result, she doesn't end up just screaming and tightening. Uh, she's able to keep things open. So man, good on her. If you liked the content today, consider liking this video. It really helps the algorithm to promote these videos to other people and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications and I'll see you for the next one.
So, did you enjoy this vocal workout? If so, I think you would love my program, Singing Ignition, where I listen to your voice and then choose exercises and techniques tailored for you. Practice along with my regular personalized workouts, learn more about your voice, and participate in our monthly live trainings, all from the comfort of your home. Start your 14-day trial today at singingignition.com.